This week's episode of Gizmo Slip is brought to you by Full Sail University. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today, we're going to be drop testing the Kindle Fire HDX. All right, guys, so we're going to be drop testing the Kindle Fire HDX on the back, the corner, and the face. We are going to be using this platform to level out the device. We're going to take the platform straight out from under and let it fall straight to the ground on the back and the face. And then we're going to be using the stick to slide it down straight onto the corner to get the most level and accurate drops possible. Let's get to the drop test right now. All right, guys, drop on the back in three, two, one. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look how it did. The screen is completely fine, as you would expect. Looks like we got little scratches, a little scuffing right there, no big deal. We also got a little bit of scuffing right here, a little scratch, tiny little scratch, can't really see that. This is not bad at all, totally fine. Let's move on to the corner drop. Corner drop test in three, two, one. Well, ouch, that is quite a bit of damage. It looks like the plastic actually came out a little bit. Let me see if I can pop that back into place. It doesn't want to go back in. Oh, okay. It's like all coming off now. Sheesh, seriously? This is, this is one of the worst I have ever seen on any tablet ever. That, that's just bad. I think this corner drop permanently damaged this Kindle Fire HDX. I think it probably still works just fine. Let me see. Yes, everything still works. No problems, except it looks terrible. That is just really shoddy work right there. I don't like that plastic. The plastic was not designed for durability at all. All right, let's move on to the face down. See how it does. Drop on the face in three, two, one. All right, well, whew, we got kind of chunks coming up right now. So you can see right there, we've got some real significant glass damage. And it's right on the same corner where this broke too. Uh, it's also broken up here on this corner, kind of where it rebounded to as it uh, flipped back over. All right, let's see if the screen's still working. There it goes. All right, everything's still responsive. It looks like everything's fine uh, mechanically inside but the screen is shattered and it's pretty fragmented up here. You'd probably cut yourself on the glass. So definitely a fail. Uh, I'm really disappointed with how badly this corner was busted out just on the corner drop. It's kind of really, really bad. Um, so definitely one of the low end in terms of durability devices. Though I do think, I do think it's a classy design other than its durability. All right, there you go. Before we go, we'd like to thank Full Sail University for sponsoring this episode. They have a full online bachelor degree program where you can learn how to develop your very own apps. As you know, the app market is flourishing right now, so this is a great time to take advantage of this opportunity. Well, getting this degree, you'll have both the programming and business sides of mobile development, so you can concept, develop, deploy, and market an application from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app deployment for iOS and Android operating systems. Through Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, students receive a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are provided through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. Between the App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded, and there's no sign of slowing down. If you're ready to master the technology and the software, go to fullsail.edu forward slash gizmo to learn more about this online degree program today. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check in next week because we will be doing the iPad Air drop test as well as probably the iPad mini drop test. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Google+. Plus. Should I even say that? What? What? But there's a lot of you that are starting to follow us on there, so I thought I'd mention it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out, and we will see you guys next week. Gizmo slip.